Is everybody here? Well, do you want a roll call, Lou, or will a simple little head count do it? Phone, Ted. Uh, call for me. Uh, uh transfer it in here. Ted, you're not transferring any call in here. I'm starting a meeting. Yeah, I'm with you, Lou. Listen, even if it's an important call, you don't want me to take it. I won't take it. Ted, no, if it's no, important... No, 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 I don't have to take it, Lou. Is it important? No, it's not important. It's not really important. <laughs> Take it, take it. Hello? Oh, <laughs> Okay. The thing is this. It's been too long between location features. I figured we'd do one this week. Yeah, well, broiled well, chicken is fine. What chicken? I don't know. Hey, are pearl onions the itty bitty ones? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Now, I want to do a location feature, but... <laughs> but I want to make sure it's something fresh, not something that's been done over and over so that every time you turn on a set, that's what you see. Any ideas? I don't want the energy crisis or how to grow vegetables in your backyard or Hubert Humphrey's drugstore. <laughs> Or a day in the life of an anchor man. <laughs> Mr. Man, you know what might be kind of good? How about a nostalgia piece? You know, a look back ten years ago to the mid-60s. I mean, we could talk about, well, what the clothes were then, what the hit records were, and, well, how dumb and funny things are when you look back at them, you know? Like, I remember ten years ago, I had this terrific crush on a guy, you know, and I, at the time, it was really, it was tragic. You know, but now, it, it seems, you know, kind of funny. You know, now that I'm, you know, looking back. <laughs> his, his name uh, was David. Um. I hate nostalgia. I didn't like it then, and I don't like it now. I hate it too, Lou. <laughs> Lou, uh, I don't know if this is what you're looking for. Oh, come uh, on, come on, Mary. Well, uh, a lot of times when I'm coming home after I pick up something from Marie at the market, uh, I have to go past this place. Uh, it's a new singles club, uh, Valentino's. And there's a lot of people standing up there in line waiting to get in, you know? And uh, <laughs> there I am holding my grocery bag with all the wrong things sticking out of the top, you know? Some milk and magnesia, and <laughs> our copy of Family Circle. <laughs> Well, I was just thinking that, you know, I think this singles bar would make a great story. I like it, Murray. Yeah, I like it, too. I like it a lot. A lot. It's tops, tops, tops. It's terrific. Newsweek had its biggest circulation of the year with its singles cover story. Now, the two of you will go there a few times, take in the atmosphere. Don't tell them who you are. And then we'll move the cameras in, and Ted can do a remote. That's terrific, Lou, terrific. We won't tape it. We'll do it live, right in the middle of the newscast. It'll have that off-the-cuff feel. It'll be great. It does sound very nice, Murray. Very nice. Could be filled with much human interest. And make an interesting comment. It's settled. We go with it. OK? OK, but I still vote for my idea. Vote? Oh, have we started to vote in my newsroom? <laughs> yeah, vote. Mary wants to vote. That's really funny. <laughs> Where do you think we are, Mary? Russia? <laughs> okay, we're going to do it Friday, so the two of you better get started tomorrow. Right, Lou. Okay. <clears throat> Lou, I didn't want to say anything in front of the others, but I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I've been going to single bars for many years, and I haven't had an intelligent conversation yet. Morning, Murr. Morning. So, tonight we swing with the singles, huh? Not me. What's wrong? No, nothing's wrong. No, it's just that I was talking to Marie, and <laughs> she's really wonderful. But she has this crazy idea that this singles bar is some wild place, and... But the minute I walk in, all the women are going to dive at me. 
Yeah. She thinks I'm dynamite. <laughs> so anyway, I was talking to her and tried to tell her she was wrong, you know, until about 4.30 this morning. It's just that I don't think any news feature is so important for me to make my wife cry. Understand, Mayor? Oh, Murray, I not only understand, I, th I think it's really kind of sweet. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think Lou's going to think it's too sweet. You know, it's going to be pretty hard to go in there and tell him I can't go to the singles bar because I'm dynamite. <laughs> you, you want me to tell him for you? Oh, no, 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 I'll do it. I'll just do it. I, I think it would be easier if, if I told him for you. I'm going to do it. Yeah? I would have done it. <laughs> Mr. Grant, I was just thinking about the research we're supposed to do tonight for the feature story. Um, wouldn't it make more sense, it, since it is a story about singles, and, and I'm single, for me to take it alone, and then, you know, at some future date, if we did a story about married people, then uh, Murray could take it alone. Murray's wife won't let him go, huh? No, no, it's not that she won't let him go. It's uh, just that it's making her unhappy. And it's making me unhappy. Because now we have to cancel that feature. But that's all right. We still have that film we took of graduation day at the Barber College. Oh, Mr. Grant, why do you have to cancel it? Why can't I take it alone? Mary, these places, what do you think the men are there for? You think they're sitting at home and suddenly they say to themselves, boy, I'd better get over to the singles bar. I haven't gotten any great conversation in weeks. Oh, Mr. Grant. Okay, okay. But I'm going to have to go with you. Uh, you can't handle a thing like this. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I can't possibly handle it myself. So I tell you what, why don't you go alone and I'll stay home? OK. OK. You're, you're one of the best associate producers I ever saw. If you can't handle this job alone, no one can. Thanks. Call me every 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, oh, hi. Hi. Uh, you're new here. Yeah. Uh, listen, I just want to tell you, if anybody hits on you, and you don't want them to, just call me. My name's Dino. Oh, well, thank you very much, Dino. Thank you. Listen, I wonder if you'd mind Dino, if I like asked in, you... Dino, uh, like in, everybody needs somebody, sometime. Oh. <laughs> everybody. Right. Listen, do you come to this place very now, often? Now, don't tell me. I'll bet I can guess your name. Guess it's, my name? It's, um, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is? That's right. That's my it name. It is? That's, I guess that's... Yes, you did. That's great. It's amazing. Let me try the last one. Maybe I'm hot. The last Mary, one? No, I don't think Mary, you could do that. Mary, <laughs> uh, Green. No. Um, no. Mary, um, LeBlanc. <laughs> you know, it's uh, really... You're not... Anderson? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Ginsburg? Uh-uh. No. O'Reilly. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> really? Lopez. No. Look, am I in the ballpark? It's Richards. Oh, he's going to say that next? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I answered your question. Could you answer some questions for me? Uh, listen, uh, maybe later, uh, around closing time, if neither of us is involved, we can uh, go out later, all right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm Tony, and this is Alan. Uh -huh. It's my first time here. Seems like a nice place. Yeah. You come here often? Yeah. It's better than sitting home pasting plastic daisies in my bathtub. <laughs> yeah, right. It wasn't a joke. <laughs> oh, what, what about you? Do you, you come here a lot? Oh, well, she's just, um, she's just... Hey, hey, the word is separated. Hey, you don't have to treat me like kids gloves around here. Well, no, really, everything's all right. I'm fine. You see, my husband and I, well, he felt, and I agreed, that it would be really a terrific thing if we had a trial separation. And I agree. So that each of us would be able to live, to uh, meet new people, to get into new relationships, to grow. Hi, uh, could I uh, buy you a drink? Bug off. <laughs> oh, there you are. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, just fine. Fine. Listen, 
Listen, there's really so much about you that I would like to know. Yeah? Really? Yeah, really. Well, uh, you know, listen, we, it's very hard to talk in here. Why don't we go somewhere where we can really talk? Where? <laughs> where could we go? <laughs> where would be a good place? Where? Oh, I have it. Why don't we go to my Your place? place. Oh, no. Come on, why not? Thank you, really. Why, come on. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm an adult woman. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of things myself. Well, what do you expect? I think she's not. I am. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm getting a drink. I'll leave you alone. Do your own work. Thanks. I gotta go do some research. Right. Say, hey, bartender. Oh, I like uh, scotch on it. Hey, hey, bartender. Please. This is very hard for me. What? I'm very shy. This is very hard for me. Yes. My telephone number is 555 <laughs> What? Bartender. Bart hey. Bartender. Listen. I'm oh, sorry about the little rumble we had uh, back there. Oh, forget it. Forget it. No, 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 no. It's, um, it just amazes me how a, a guy like you you know, can walk in here and steal a girl away from Big Dino. Okay. Okay. Bartender. No, no, I gotta know. You gotta tell me. What's your secret? I mean, here you are, a guy that uh, is a little, well, let's face it, who's uh, seen a couple too many sunrises. Now, how do you do it? How do you get the girls? What's your secret? I'm a terrific dancer. <laughs> I get him drunk. So about how many times a week do you come here? Oh, about once or twice, unfortunately. Oh. Hey, Alice, I'm sure everything's gonna work out. Some good will come of this. You'll meet people. Listen, listen let's keep it loose. But later, around closing time, if we're both free, let's uh, see if we can arrange something. You wanna? I guess so. Maybe I'll see you later. No commitment. There, didn't I tell you there are new people to meet all the time? That was her husband. <laughs> Read me everything we have so far. Uh, we don't have anything so far, Mr. Grant. We keep crossing everything out. We've been going to that place for a week now. Tonight, we're moving in there with cameras, and we still haven't come up with anything new to say. Neither of the men at the bar. <laughs> Maybe we ought to just cancel. No, no, no. We can't cancel it. We've been running promos on it all week. WJM explores the no-host bar morality, the swinging single scene. Live as it all happens, right, when it happens. All right, all right. <laughs> there has to be an angle to this somewhere. All we have to do is find it. No, Mr. Grant, I've been going crazy trying to get a new insight into this. I mean, we closed up that bar every night this week. And all I've come away with is, is a purse full of wet change and some funny <laughs> cocktail napkins with phone numbers on them. Oh, well, yeah? Let me see. Ted, they're men's phone numbers. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all my fault. It's a lousy idea to begin with. It's nobody's fault. It's a good idea. Now, let's try to make it work. Lou, well, here's something. How do you get down from an elephant? <laughs> Not now, Ted. Mr. Grant, maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. You know, I mean, I have been treating this as a, a story about a place, and it isn't, you know. It's a story about people. All right. Now, what are we going to say about those people? Come on, Lou. Sometimes the laugh lightens the load. How do you get down from an elephant? <laughs> well, rather than saying those same dumb things, why don't we just don't say anything at all? I mean, Mary knows the brightest people in that bar, right? Why don't we just put the camera in there and let them do the talking? Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a first. <laughs> now, Lou. <laughs> All right, Ted. How do you get down from an elephant? 
I was hoping you knew. <laughs> Phone number written over the answer here. I'm gonna rest till I know. The answer is, you don't get down from an elephant, Ted. You get down from a duck. <laughs> I don't get it. They call ducks feathers down. Oh. <laughs> Almost finished, Mayor? Yeah, almost, almost. There you go. So, oh, thanks. you going with us after all, huh? Oh, yeah. I told Marie I was going. It was my decision, and if she didn't like it, it was just too bad. <laughs> so, uh, my suit look okay for tonight, Mayor? Oh, sure, Mayor. Oh. Uh, well, I just wanted to look okay. No, that's a lie. Mary, the truth is, I want to look... I can't believe I'm telling you this. But I want to look hip. <laughs> I want to walk into that singles place. In one brief, shining moment, I want to feel not bald. <laughs> no, Murray, you look very nice. <laughs> That's just what I didn't want to hear. <laughs> ah, Ted, you know all about the remote for tonight, right? We'll all be at the singles bar. You'll be here at the studio. Here's your script. What do you mean, you'll all be at the singles bar? You mean I'm going to be alone? I've never done the news alone before. Ted, you'll be fine. Lou, I didn't know I was going to be all alone tonight. Ted, you'll be fine. Yeah, but Lou, I don't think I can... Ted! Be, be an anchor man. <laughs> yeah, Lou, Lou, I don't think... No, don't worry, Ted. And you'll be alone, but we'll leave your little nightlight on in the hall. But... <laughs> Oh, good, good. It's crowded tonight. That'll be a lot of people to talk to. Terrific. So, here's Murray Slaughter, and here's a singles bar. Look, there are some chicks. So, here's Murray Slaughter, standing in a single bar, looking at some chicks. <laughs> the outside, they're called girls, but once they cross that threshold, they're chicks. <laughs> yeah, Mary, I'm gonna check on the camera crew. Right. So, I'm inside. I'm finally inside. So why do I still feel I'm carrying a bag full of groceries? <laughs> hi, Mary. Oh, hi. Oh, Murray, I want to introduce you to a couple of oh. people, and then we'll explain to them about the show. Uh, Tony, Alice, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Murray Slaughter. Hi, Murray. Hi. <laughs> well, actually, Murray is more than just a friend. We work together, and um, that's going to involve all of you, too. What do you mean? Well... Mary! <laughs> Where do you want us to put the monitor? Um, I think probably over the end of the bar will be great. All right. Yeah. Uh, what is this? What do you mean? Well, it's just that, uh... uh Mary, excuse yeah. me, could we One, go over the rundown? Two, right. Three. Uh, Ted, we're into commercial now. You want to give us a voice level over there? Hello, hello. Hey, can they really hear the way across town? <clears throat> hello, Scarlet. <laughs> Frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see if I can remember how to do bogey. Don't do bogey, Ted. We hear you fine. What's going on here? Ah, yes, I was starting to tell you. See, we're going to do a news feature for the WJM 6 o'clock news. And yes, it's true. In a couple of minutes, you are both going to be on television. Now, it's going to be a lot of fun. Just relax. Have fun with it. Just talk to me about the same things you've been talking to me about all week, and you'll be just great. Oh, no. Were we supposed to be on the news? Yeah. I don't want to be on television. I don't want to be on television. No, it'll be I don't want to be on television. No, we just want to talk to you. No, we just want to talk to you. Twenty seconds. Where do you want to go? Rainbow Park. Hey, wait. Hey, Alice, look, where are you going? I think we're going to the Rainbow Club. The Rainbow Club. Yeah. yeah. And now, as promised, our special feature: WJM goes to a singles bar. Who are they? The singles. What are they looking for? Where are they going? To the Rainbow Room. <laughs> we take you now to one of Twin Cities' most popular singles bars, Valentino's. Everything happening while you see it, as you see it. Packed, jammed to the rafters every night, Valentino's is the newest addition to the growing phenomenon of singles bars. Let's, uh... <clears throat> Let's, uh talk to the people here and see why this place is such a big success. <laughs> well, here's someone who might tell us of his feelings. He looks like a typical single. <laughs> uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> tell us, uh, why do you like to come to a singles bar? Uh. <laughs> 
Why do I... <clears throat> well, uh... <clears throat> It's hard to say. I'd sum it up by saying it's hard to say. I see. Uh, uh, perhaps you'd like to uh, talk to somebody else, Mary, Mary, Mary. Well, uh, maybe you can explain to us why this place is so packed every night. Oh, you know, well, they're, they're actually, uh, were a, a lot of uh, people here earlier. I mean, it, uh, I know it, it doesn't look, you know, like there, there were a, a lot of uh, people here, but you can, uh, can see that uh, uh, there were the, the re rem remnants of the... uh, Tell us, uh, how did you learn about this place? He told me. <laughs> form a lasting relationship after meeting someone in a singles bar? Oh, well, I, I would say that, uh, you know, that would uh, depend uh, upon the, the people. Food for thought. <laughs> what do you find here that you don't find anywhere else? Oh, well, you, you have your, your fun and uh, friend, friendship and... Uh, well, you have uh, com companionship. Well, well, don't you agree, sir? <laughs> There's nobody here tonight. Our camera crew scared them off. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we wanted to tell you Something new about a singles bar. We didn't find anything new. Uh, the people here got what they came for. They met each other. Maybe that's all we found out. I guess it's our blessing and our affliction that people need people. My name is Lou Grant. Lou? We still have four minutes to fill. <laughs> and now, back to you, Ted. <laughs> Uh, today was the, uh, the end of the auto show in Minneapolis. So let's observe four minutes of silence. I thank you. Yes, yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes, thank you for calling. Bye. It's neat. They all seem to like it. <laughs> Newsroom. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Oh, who did you want us to try to locate for you? The cute single guy at the end of the bar. <laughs> uh, just a moment, please. Hello?